Today I'll be solving the 27th challenge on Ethan called Good Samaritan. Scroll down. The goal of this challenge is to drain all of the balance from a wallet. I'll copy this code over to my code editor and then deploy this challenge. I copy the code from Ethan over to my code editor. Again, the goal of this challenge is to drain the coin balance from the wallet. If I fold the contracts, I can see that there are three contracts and one interface. The three contracts are Good Samaritan, Coin, and the wallet. Let's first take a look at the Good Samaritan contract. The Good Samaritan contract, this is the contract that we are given, and it deploys a wallet and a coin, and then it does some initializations. It has a function called request donation, and this is a public function where anyone will be able to call. And when we call this function, it would try to donate 10 coin to message.sender. And if it fails, since it is inside a try catch, if the donation fails, it would transfer the remainder to message.sender. So let's take a look at the function donate 10 first. So I'll scroll all the way down. And then here's the function donate 10. Only the owner of this wallet will be able to call. We know that the owner of this wallet is the Good Samaritan contract. And if the coin balance of this wallet is less than 10, then it reverts. Otherwise, it calls the function transfer. So let's take a look at the function transfer on the coin. Scrolling up, here's the function transfer inside the coin contract. If the balance of message.sender is greater than or equal to the amount to transfer, then it updates the balances. So basically, this is doing a transfer of coins. And then if the destination is a contract, it calls a function called notify on the destination. So what this means is that if the destination is our hack contract, it's going to call a function called notify inside a hack contract, which we will write out later. Otherwise, if the current balance is greater than the amount to transfer, then it reverts with a custom error. So let's go back to the wallet contract, sorry, the Good Samaritan contract. So we covered the function donate 10. And again, our goal was to drain all of the coin balance from the wallet contract. So let's take a look at the coin contract and see how many coins it mints to the wallet contract. If I scroll down, I know that inside the Good Samaritan contract, this coin is deployed by the Good Samaritan contract. And to the wallet, it mints 10 to the 6 coins. So going back to request donation, if we call this function many times, the wallet has 10 to the 6 coins. So if we call it each time we get 10 coins. So if we call it 10 to the 6 divided by 10 times, that'll be 10 to the 5. Then we'll be able to drain all of the coins inside the wallet. But is there another way to drain all of the coins inside the wallet? What happens if this part of the function fails? Then we go inside the catch block. And it says that if the custom error is equal to not enough balance, then it would transfer the remainder to message.sender. So let's take a look at when this error not enough balance is raised as an error and what the function transfer remainder does. Let's start with not enough balance. Here's the error not enough balance. It's inside the wallet contract. And where is it being called? Inside the donate 10, if the coin balance of this wallet contract is less than 10, then it's going to throw not enough balance. Otherwise, it will do a regular transfer. How about the other function that we're interested in? Transfer remainder. This function will be called when the custom error not enough balance is raised. If we take a look at this and it transfer all of the coin balance inside this wallet, you can see here, calls a transfer to destination for the coin balance of this wallet. And this function transfer remainder can only be called by the owner of this wallet, which will be the Good Samaritan contract. So going back to the Good Samaritan contract, so is there a way to trick this Good Samaritan contract into calling the function transfer remainder while the coin balance of the wallet is greater than 10? Again, remember that this not enough balance is thrown by the wallet when the coin balance of the wallet is less than 10. But if we can somehow trigger this not enough balance error while the coin balance of the wallet is greater than 10, and then we call transfer remainder, then we'll get all of the tokens locked inside the wallet. Well, actually, we can't throw this not enough balance error. Inside here, it doesn't say where this error has to come from. So what this means is that when the wallet calls donate 10, going back to donate 10, it's going to call transfer. And inside the transfer, it's going to call notify. And for the destination, we'll set it to our hack contract. 
when the function notify is called inside a hack contract, we can throw this custom error, not enough balance, and then it will be catched inside here, inside the Good Samaritan contract. So this condition will pass. This not enough balance error will come from our hack contract instead of the wallet contract. And then the wallet will transfer all of the coins to our hack contract. Let's put this in code. So scrolling up, here it's importing the open Zeppelin contract, which I do not have access to. So what I'm gonna do is write all of my code above the import, copy the code over here to remix, and then we'll deploy the contract. Here are the interfaces that I'm gonna need, which I declared. For Good Samaritan, I named it as iGood. And from here, I'm gonna need the function coin and request donation. And from the coin function, I might need the balance function. So I've declared the interface for iCoin. Okay, so let's write our hack contract. Contract hack. We said we're gonna throw the not enough balance error that's declared inside the wallet. So I'll copy this and then paste it inside my hack contract. And then I'll also declare some immutable variables. I good, private, immutable, I'll name it target. I coin, private, immutable, I'll name it coin. And then we'll initialize these inside a constructor. So say constructor I good underscore target and then target is equal to underscore target and coin is equal to I coin at underscore target dot coin. Next we will write our function that will initiate the hack. I'll name it pwn function pwn external and then first how it's going to initialize the hack is by calling request donation on the good samaritan contract so i'll copy this function paste it here and then say target dot request donation so when we call this function request donation it's going to execute this code it's going to call wallet donate 10. on the first call to donate 10 the coin balance is 10 to the 6 so this Part of the error will not be thrown and it will do a regular transfer of 10 tokens so if you go to coin.transfer it will do a regular transfer and then it would notify our hack contract that 10 tokens were sent so what we need is a function called notify inside our hack contract so function notify uint amount external and what we want to do inside here is when notify is called we want to throw this not enough balance error so that we can trigger the transfer remainder function on the wallet so inside here we'll say revert not enough balance so when we do a revert here this will result with a call to donate 10 throwing an error and we'll end up here the wallet will call transfer remainder so let's go to transfer remainder transfer remainder will transfer all of the tokens inside the wallet and it's gonna call transfer again. Notice that if you go back to the function transfer, it's gonna call transfer and again, it's gonna call notify again. And for the amount, it won't be 10 this time, it will be all of the balance, which will be 10 to the six. So we need a conditional statement inside our notify function to only raise an error if the amount is equal to 10. So I'll say if amount is equal to 10 then revert with not enough balance let's go back to the function request donation we're over here right now the second call to notify will not throw an error so this code will execute without any errors and this will end the execution to our call request donation let's check that this hack contract was able to get all of the coin balance from the wallet so i'll say require coin dot balances of address this this should be equal to 10 to the 6 otherwise i'll put in an error message saying hack failed okay that completes our hack contract so let's now deploy this contract i'll copy this part of the code paste the code inside remix hit ctrl s to see if the contract compiles and it does so click on the deployment tab and make sure that i select the testnet by clicking on injected provider make sure that i'm on the gordy testnet and we're now ready to deploy our hack contract and to deploy this hack contract i'm gonna need the address of the good samaritan contract 
Back inside Eat or Not, I'm gonna get the address of the Good Samaritan contract by typing F12. And this will open the Browser Console. Inside the Browser Console, I'll copy the address of the Good Samaritan contract. Paste the contract address here, and then deploy the hack contract. Once the contract is deployed, scroll down, open the contract, and then we'll call the function phone. Confirm the transaction, and the transaction went through. The last step is to submit our instance. Once you win the challenge, you'll see the button Submit Instance change to go to the next level.